Scott and John here, Digital Lead Performance. We're excited to be with you today because we really want to share with you some of the benefits that we've learned over the first six months with Dealer Lead Performance. And I think it's very important that you understand that what we've learned and the benefits we've learned have come from our dealers that we work with and their customers. So we want to share with you some of the key things and to really kick it off, uh, one, of the, one of the things that I like really well about our program is our peer group, the monthly calls we make every month. So we have dealers, just like we've had in our 20 clubs, just like we've had in all the other groups we've had. We bring those groups together every month so we can share the performance of the group and what our services is providing. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about that peer group, what, what we've seen happen there, John. Okay. Uh, so those are monthly calls, as, as Scott said, um, and and we send out we, we we do a lot of reporting. There's daily reporting, there's weekly reporting, and there's monthly reporting. And the monthly report is the basis for these calls. So each dealer will have their own statistics for the month, and those sticks, statistics would be how many leads they got, uh, which platforms the leads came from, which lead generation platforms they came from. Um, our activities, how many outbound phone calls, how many appointments we set, how many appointments were kept, uh, and how many motorcycles were sold uh, as a result of that process. So that's, that's the basic data. So the dealer can sit there and they can look at their individual numbers and they can look at the average, they can do some comparisons. Um, and we, we spent a lot of time talking about the three phases of the digital sales process, right? Lead capture, lead follow-up, and lead conversion. And, and essentially what we're doing is we're, we're, we're asking questions of the dealers and we're trying to draw out the dealers who are doing certain areas of the process the best yep. and they then share how they do that. So we really do, similar to 20 Club, surface best practices yep. among people who are really aspiring to be great in the digital space right now. And, um, and what we found is everybody learned something, including us on those calls, but now you're starting to see relationships among the dealers who didn't even know each other before this. And now they've got a group that they can talk to over the course of the month in between those calls and continue to get, continue to get better. It's been cool. So there's a real value in the fact that um, the digital work we're doing today comes from the experience we've had over the years in the sales in, in the sales process. So one of the great things about the peer group is we're really able to identify the areas that make the sales process get to the end so that we sell more motorcycles. So it's um it's it's we, we don't want to be in this business to be in the in the con consulting or the coaching, but we can't help but see the opportunities that keep coming to us as a result of the work we're doing. So we're sharing that. That's the great thing we're doing through the peer group. We're sharing our information and we're allowing everybody's everybody's performance or everybody's experience to be spread among all of our customers. Mm -hmm. So the next thing was the CRM usage. Now, yeah. the CRM usage. I know everyone knows uh, that the CRM is an extremely valuable tool. We know that Harley Davidson knows the extremely valuable tool because of what they've been requiring us to do through some of their partners. But I think what's really important is how we have seen the opportunity to really give a dealer um, uh, an assistance and a support or coaching on how to get their CRM to the best, to the best usage possible. Yes, and it, it's interesting. I think as of now, we work in seven or eight different CRMs, uh, our agents do back there. So the way that DLP functions is, is leads come into individual dealership websites. Uh, those leads, we ensure that those leads move automatically from the website to the CRM. So our agents, right over there, a room full of them, are sitting there and they're looking at all these different dealer CRMs. So when a lead hits that CRM, we can follow up right now. Right? Thousands and thousands and thousands of leads, under six minutes response time with all those leads, seven days a week. And all the activity that's had by our agents, whether it's a text, a phone call, an email, pictures back and forth, videos back and forth, so forth, um, all of that is recorded inside the dealer CRM. 
So the dealer, the sales manager, the general manager, the owner, whoever wants to, can look inside the CRM anytime they want to, and there's an accountability to the activity that happens by our agents. But what we found is our agents actually use the CRM better than a lot of the salespeople at the stores do. And so the dealer sees that, and now they're putting pressure that's creating improvement from the sales staff because they're looking like, hey man, look at all these notes that these guys, these guys don't even work in the store and they got better notes in the CRM than you do. So the dealers tell us, again, this is what dealers have told us, I'm not making this up, this is what dealers tell us on the call, my CRM usage has improved because you guys did it better and showed us what was actually possible. So again, just just maximizing the efficiency of, of the tools that you spend money on is a side benefit. And I think it's fair to say that what the reason why DLP does such a great job is that this is the only thing they're focused on. They're mm. focused on following up digital leads. So that's one of the next items on here is in-store follow-up is better. So the fact is our team follows up in six minutes. Our team drives a level of follow-up that customers respond to. Customers give feedback to our dealers about how quickly the follow-up is in your store. I, I think the, the three in a row here on the, on the list that, that we've got, in-store follow-up, sales team and process better, and in-store focus on what's important, kind of, kind of fit together. <clears throat> the in-store follow-up improves in some cases because our agents push so hard on the sales management team in the stores because these guys want to see that kept appointment actually turn into a delivery. Okay, so as soon as the appointment's set, we're communicating to the store. So look, you have an appointment set with Mr. Fisher on Friday at 1215. Check your CRM. This is what he's coming in for. Okay, our coaching, our guidance to that dealer is now somebody at the store needs to contact Mr. Fisher to reconfirm the appointment, start to establish a relationship, kind of the transfer of trust from the agent that they've been working with to somebody at the store now, and continue to follow up until that appointment shows up. Okay, And then we really lean on them because we're in their CRM. We're in the CRM. So if an appointment shows up today and we go into their CRM tomorrow and that appointment didn't buy, we want to know what are you doing at the store to follow up on that unsold kept appointment. Mm. And sometimes we're actually prompting them to follow up and take action on that stuff. These guys back here take a ton of pride in getting the appointment there and they want it to deliver. That's why we started this thing, to sell more bikes That's right. for every dealer that we work with. So what comes from that, obviously we talked about the CRM, we talked about the follow up, it improves the dealerships, just their sales process, because they see the efficiency and, and the structured nature of what we do, and it just overflows into their day-to-day -day operation. So they, they just, their team becomes better as a result of this. And I don't know that we anticipated that when we started this, but this is feedback we get from, mm. from, from the dealers that we work with. So I think, I think it's important to realize that if you, if you look at the level of accountability that comes from DLP, the performance that comes every day from DLP, one of the key things that we've learned is dealers are also not as dependent on having as many salespeople because a big part of the workload that salespeople have is handled by DLP. And that's a value so that the, so that the A team you have on the floor, which is fewer salespeople probably than you have during the peak of your staffing, are going to be more focused on the key customers on the store and are going to make a going to make a big impact on turning those appointments into deliveries. But we want to share with you, you know, we'll talk about all these things. We want to share with you some very specific, some very specific comments that have been made by our customers, by your customers and our customers, meaning you. Yeah, so these I'm gonna I'm gonna read a few of these, and these are coming from people who bought motorcycles that started online, yep. worked with our agents, were transferred, if you will, over, and came into the dealership to, to buy motorcycles. So um, uh, I'm not going to use any specific names in here, but uh, hi, this is customer X. 
Uh, I just bought a 2018 Fat Boy from dealership X yesterday. Just wanted to let you know that Kyle Williams, he's one of our agents here, it's his birthday today, 23 years old. Uh, just wanted to let you know that Kyle Williams did a great job staying in touch with me and following up. Felt like a personal touch and great service. Mm. Okay. What the customers feel through this process, they don't know that this is digital lead performance. This is a customer service agent that's working on behalf of the dealership. Their first goal, that would, everything we do with agent training when they first start is, you have to create a relationship with that customer on behalf of the dealer. That's the key. We can't sell motorcycles to them. You guys sell motorcycles to them. So the customer thinks they're dealing with store employees the whole time. So this person thought it was great with Kyle. I have another one. My online experience uh, was great with Sarah. Sarah's one of our agents back here. Uh, she was very quick, helpful, and nice. Loved dealing with her, and the people at the dealership got me on the bike I wanted and a good price and financing. Would recommend to everyone, thank you so much, Sarah. Again, seamless work between agent and store ends up with a great experience for the This was by far the best experience I've ever had dealing with an internet sales representative. This is about Aaron. Aaron's actually our director of operations now. He's the one that started this whole idea in his head several, several years ago when we put him in that room and told him to figure it out, and he figured it out. Aaron responded fast to all my questions and worked overtime to assist me. I never felt pressured at any time. I contacted several dealerships and talked to about 15 other internet sales reps. To me, Aaron seemed to be more on the ball and bent over backwards trying to help me. I truly feel if it was not for him talking to me and trying to provide me the best deal and experience, I never would have gone to the dealership. Okay, again, you gotta think about it. This is happening without anybody in the store having to take the time, having to even worry about it. This just happens, it's all they do. Like Scott said earlier, it allows the dealership to focus on other things because this is just handled. And it's apparently it's being handled the way that customers, customers enjoy. Uh, first, let me say this that you are the best, and what you did for me, I can never say thank you enough to you and your staff. Please keep up the amazing work and how much you care for Harley riders. Okay, so this is interesting. These aren't just agents, and we're not just people that run a follow-up service, okay? We're motorcycle dealers. A lot of us are motorcycle riders. We understand the culture of motorcyclists, and so there, there's, a, there's a different feel when a customer engages with one of our agents than if they deal with somebody that, that really doesn't under, understand the business, and, and this customer uh, reflected that. So tell yourself thank you from a police officer of 27 years and a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty hard-lined uh, person right there. He liked it. All right, this is the last one. Visited the dealership today uh, to pick up my bike. Actually worked with Aaron throughout my buying experience. Was pretty much handled all online. This process was the easiest I have ever experienced with a Harley purchase, and I've had three previous bikes. He goes on to talk a little bit more about the, what happened with, with the back and forth with the agent here, but this is the part that I liked. He said, once I was at the store, they greeted my wife and I immediately and really made us feel as if we were some kind of VIPs. Okay, again, that's that connection. These guys set the relationship. They convey all the information via text and in the CRM. So that customer shows up, the dealership's ready for them. Mm -hmm. Bikes out front, right? It's shined up, it's gassed up, the customer's named on it. We are ready for them, and they just pull up and they're like, holy cow, mm -hmm. what a great deal. It's actually making, it's making buying a bike more enjoyable than it used to be. Yeah. And that's, that's a big deal. I mean, if you can make it easier to buy, man, you're good. You're ahead of the game. So I think, I think, I think it's really important to uh, to look at the fact that um, you know um, one of our one of our key benefits here is the accountability of the leads, and um, you know one of the things that we've seen, which we think is really incredible because we can really focus on it, is um, you know you are in, you're trusting us to take your digital leads, and what we're providing to you is real facts on your leads. You can get those facts; they're in your they're in your digital, your database, not ours. We 
clearly show you the performance that we're getting from your leads. So if you get 50 leads a month, we're getting 75 of them leads are being appointments being set. I mean, it's pretty substantial. It's substantial because of a few things John just talked about. Aaron Barney has been with us for 18 years. He's been in sales management most of his time with us. And he really understands what's most important in your, in your department. And it's, it's allowing us to put such a level of accountability on, on a great value that you, that you have invested in. And we're giving you that report back through, through our peer group, through our, our regular communication, and we're driving performance. We're driving more sales it, through your operation. So I think it's important to understand that we are focused clearly on building value from the very beginning. When those leads hit, we're hitting six minutes. Under six. Under six. And we're getting more of those customers excited about owning a Harley Davidson and excited about doing business in your dealership. That's what's important. It's important and the, the last piece on there is it happens seven days a week. Seven days. So if you're open, if you're open, our agents are tending to your leads so, in live time. So just think about it. It's it, we always reflect on these things, but you know, we have people calling sick today. You know, we don't have enough sales staff today. Uh, we don't have enough sales staff, period. Uh, we haven't hired, rehired new sales staff. One of the big benefits, and it's we didn't share those responses that come out of our peer group, but they don't have to worry about that. Our guys never go on vacation for you. Our guys never call in sick for you. Your leads are followed up all the time with our team, no matter who's off today or who's not off today, and it has no impact on the traffic you have. So it's really important that you really understand that the longer they sit, the longer those leads sit, the colder they get. The colder they get. Speed the lead. Give us a call. Let us show us how, you can, how we can help you gain more opportunities in your business to sell more motorcycles.